So, dear friends, uh, welcome back. This video is about the use of uh, free search in PA20. So, here we go to PA20. This is the display chart master data. And if we uh, already know our personal number, we can actually type here and then we can see the info type as we have uh, discussed in the earlier uh, video. But now if we don't have a personal number or if we want to have a list of employees based on certain criteria, then actually we can use free search. So let's go there. And uh, this is the free search window uh, and uh, uh, we need to comprehend, understand the different uh, parts of the window. So these are the different info type folders based on which we can actually uh, customize our search uh, and the outputs. So for example, if we go to the personal data uh, folder, uh, you can see there is a date of birth, there's a first name, last name, and there's a year of birth, country of birth, uh, month of birth, birthplace, and plenty of other fields, uh, right? And uh, there is a last name again. So there are more than first name, last name. Uh, so we need to avoid those which have some other thing uh, in addition. So we need to use probably this one for the last name. If you want to our search to be based on the last name and there is nationality, title and plenty of other things. Similarly, if we go to the organizational assignment folder, again, we can search based on the payroll area, company code, personal sub area and uh, some other general German fields, business area. We have not discussed it, not discussed it so far and employee group and subgroup, right? So personal structure items, position. So you can see there are many fields within the organization assignment. And if you want to uh, have a search based on actions, then this is uh, some search based on action, which is actually living date, entry date, length of service period in days, years, etc. And if you want to keep our search just based on personal number, then we can use our, uh, this field. And uh, again, uh, there are plenty of other uh, folders which have different info types, but basic pay is something which we use in future. So uh, we can have, for example, use basic pay. And within the basic pay, there must be uh, annual salary, for example. So we can have a search based on annual salary. So now how to use all these items? One. So you can see that uh, to start with the data, this is the field value selection. So if I check, for example, this month of birth, right? So on the right hand side of window, I have a field uh, filter criteria for the month of birth. So this is actually, uh, this checkbox has to be checked in the first column when you need your report to be filtered on this particular uh, field. For, for example, if I want to filter this report based on month of birth and I want the month of birth to be say two, I want all the employees actually uh, taken birth in February and second column right the second checkbox uh, second column checkbox is uh, to be checked if you want the data to be in the output so I want the month of birth to be printed in the output as well so I select this checkbox as well and also I need the year of birth in the output although this is not uh, uh, a criteria for input uh, report filtering purpose but I need the year of birth in the output whatever it is and I need the complete date of birth as well as an output. And I need, for example, uh, full employee name in my output. I need uh, gender key in the output. And I also need uh, the text of the gender key, field text output, and this is field value output. So gender key may be one and two, and the text for the gender key may be male and female. So I want text as well. So these are for the outputs, these are for the output text, and these are for the input criteria. And let's run this report. Let's see how many employees have taken birth in February. So this is the hit list. We have five employees. These are the employee numbers, and these are the employee names. Remember the employee numbers and employee name is something which is already uh, there in the output. We don't need to select it. So this is the minimum output that the system generates by itself. We don't need to check the employee name or the employee number personal number. The month of birth is February. This was the input criteria, but it is here because we mentioned it in the output criteria as well. And these, this is the year of birth. We mentioned it to be in the output and this is the date of birth. Full employee name. It is not populated because the data is there in the first name and the last name, not in full employee name. Gender key for all of them is not defined. So the gender key is unknown. So again, go back to free search. And if I want this report to be, let's say, 
and to add some more columns delete some columns okay so these are some predefined columns which we can actually hide or uh, take for example i want the personal area or person sub area uh, also personal area name and person sub area code and person sub area name i can just check them and i will get these uh, columns in this report so although this could have done in the previous screen as well uh, in the free search main window but uh, this is the liberty that some of the columns some of the mainstream uh, items can be configured right from here as well uh, here we can actually go to a full length view list output so this is a full length view of this particular report and now based on this report i can actually sort it so for example i want to sort it in any order on name so i just click name i want to sort it on the base of year of birth so i selected year of birth and i sort it in descending order year of birth so this is the descending order of year of birth and plenty of other columns can be used so we go back and let's have another free search and now i want my search to be based on organizational assignment so i want all the employees working in personal area so let's select personal area and i want this to be in the output uh, i want this uh, the text in the output as well and the personal area I, uh, I actually want is let's see how many personal areas are there so i pressed f4 here so I have five personal areas i want all the employees belonging to for example miami personal area so i selected miami personal area and what i want apart from employee number personal number and personal uh, employee name which shall already be there always be there uh, i also want for example and so there is one selection already here i now uh, i collapse this folder i also want uh, the date of birth of the employee in the output i also want the year of birth of the employee in the output and i want actually his uh, maybe nationality quote and text both and i want uh, maybe his age as well so these are the uh, more outputs so i can select as many output criteria as many output items fields as i want not criteria exactly criteria for the inputs uh, but i selected just one input criteria right so i press enter and i have the list of all the employees these are the employee number and name so these two columns are always there then i have personal area personal area text then i have their date of birth year of birth nationality uh, and nationality text these are not populated so there is no data in it and then the age of the employee so this way we can actually make use of free search and in another video i will uh, cover the use of multiple criteria in the free search and uh, uh, we shall see how the, we can actually make use of free search with multiple criteria. So, uh, thank you.